All right, just making a quick video on this new solar panel from Pecron. This is a, actually an oversized panel, um, the PV300, but it's actually 330 watts. Now, what's interesting about this thing is, you know, if you, if you saw my video recently on kind of why you might want to avoid buying like an oversized portable solar panel, <laughs> um, this panel actually has some very innovative uh, kickstands on it that kind of like solves basically my biggest, you know, my biggest worry and my biggest complaint with these kind of bigger oversized panels. So if you want like a, you know, if you just want to deal with one panel, you know, you don't want to deal with trying to hook up, you know, multiple, you know, for me, I, I think I still like, I still prefer, I still think kind of the recommended setup if you're going with these portable panels is kind of like the 200 watt style, you know, the ones I've talked about that are kind of low and wide. And, um, and basically you can kind of string those together, right? If you want more power. But if you don't want to deal with that, you know, some people don't want to deal with that. They just, they just want to deal with, you know, setting up one panel and hooking up one panel, right? I mean, that's understandable. You might want to consider this one because, um, um, well, let's just, let's just, let's just jump right into it and kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So, um, you know, basically the thing I was talking about what happens with these oversized panels is, um, especially when they're out in the sun and it's hot and you know, the sun, the sun is going to heat up this panel, right? And um, just, you know, just in general, like if you're leaving these things out for an hour, two hours, three hours, right? Because you're, you know, you're out getting, getting some charge on them. The panel is going to really heat up. And because it's so tall, basically, you know, what you see here, this is like, you know, <laughs> nice and straight. It's like basically right out of the box, right? Basically what will happen, you know, you'll start getting this like sag in the center like this. And as you can imagine, this is like, you know, it's not great for the panel itself either. But, um, you know, basically that means just less, you know, less of the panel is going to be pointed at the sun, right? So basically this is, you know, just not, not a good thing. So Pecron has actually come up with a very innovative design here. And uh, let me, let me uh, go over to it. Here it is. <laughs> here it is. The, the kickstands are actually have like, there's four of them, which is, which is nice, right? Because not all these panels have four. Some, some of them give you three, right? But um, as you can see here, like there's actually two parts to each kickstand you know you have the main leg there right but then as soon as you pop this kickstand out there's an inner there's like an inner leg that kind of you know points and and it basically hits about the center of the panel so this kind of solves like a whole bunch of issues right number one that's actually really nice about this is is when you pull these panels um these when you pull these kickstands out this inner leg will actually like like naturally like fold down in towards the center and this actually will just it makes setting up the panel super easy because basically once that happens these kickstands aren't going to just you know naturally fold back in right sometimes um what happens is, is basically you'll try to set this thing up and then you'll you know some of the kickstands that you've already set up will start to just creep back in towards the panel right and then you're going to like pull this one out and then these ones are going to go back in and then you got to go back over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it becomes like this game. So not only does it kind of do these inner legs kind of prevent that from happening, but as you can see here, it adds support down like the center of the panel, right? So, um, you, know, you know, basically that's just going to prevent that whole issue with having it sag in the center, right? You're not going to have that issue. And it's basically going to stay nice and straight like this. The entire time so yeah just real good stuff from Pecron here right all right let's just talk about the specs here real quick and then we'll just touch on the design like real briefly um you know as far as the aesthetics and stuff like that so this thing is actually this is a little bit interesting too it's actually 330 watt panel but they actually call it um oh, they actually call it the pv300 so this is a little unusual you know that they're kind of um naming it a, a little bit underrated right I think the one thing I can think of that maybe they're doing that is just to kind of make it seem like it's not quite as big of a panel because this is a big panel. I mean, even when it's folded up, you can see it's almost, almost, you know, three feet. Well, they okay, they actually have this a little, they actually have this screwed up. It's actually um, three feet, almost three feet tall and then, you know, two feet wide, even when it's folded up. So this is a, this is a big panel. So I think maybe they're, you know, maybe they're going to go with a PV300 makes it seem a little bit smaller because if you're kind of worried about how big is this panel going to be, you know. So that's the only reason I can kind of think of it for doing that. So interesting there. 
And, um, and then another thing just to touch on while we got the spec page up here is that um, this thing actually weighs almost 30 pounds. So this is, this is definitely like a beast of a, so, of a solar panel. Now, the, the good thing I would say about that, because my other complaint about these, these oversized panels is, again, you know, if you watch that video, basically they sit up taller off the ground, you know, obviously because they're, they're a bigger panel. So again, it's just like, it's just more wind that, you know, the panels are gonna catch. So if it's real windy, it could make it difficult to keep these things standing up, right? But I think in this case, weighing almost 30 pounds, now you're going to have to have some real serious gusts to, to worry about that, right? So I think, you know, that the weight in this, you know, particular case could actually be a good thing. So, you, you know, with those kickstands and with that weight, I think this, this panel will basically give you that, that oversized option if you're looking for that without any of those, those drawbacks or negatives, right? And then just another quick thing about the specs, that you just, just um, something you got to note is that actually the um, the VMP, you know, the voltage at max power is actually a little bit lower than you would think. It's only 33 volts, you know, so if you're kind of thinking about comparing this to, you know, maybe doing, you know, two normal solar panels um, hooked together in series, you know, most normal panels are around 18 volts, right? So if you had two of those in series, you'd be more like at 36 volts. And the reason you kind of want to, you know, maybe kind of just check what kind of power station you're going to be hooking this thing up to or whatnot, is that as you can see here it does 33 volts at 10 amps you know so you don't it's not really the ideal panel to be using with a power station that's got a, a input limit of 8 amps right we do see um, a lot of power stations actually still have a input limit of that of 8 amps so in that case um, I just I had the calculator out here real quick I think it was about 264 watts that would be like the maximum that you would get with this panel if you had an 8 amp uh, input limit right so um, you're not going to get anywhere near 330 watts or even 300 watts, you know, with that. Now, if you have, you know, a 10 amp limit or, or higher, you know, you're going to definitely probably get, um, you, you might not get 330, right? But you're going to get probably close to 300. And then just one little interesting note about the design here, you know, Pecron, they, you know, on all their power stations, they have these little orange corners on them, right? Um, but what's a little bit disappointing with this is this, this little orange piece here is just like an additional piece of like orange fabric. It's not actually like a rubber protector or anything like that. So it's just like, it's purely cosmetic. Um, it would have been nice, you know, to have a little bit of extra protection on the, the corner there, right? And then lastly, this is MC4, so very good. And it does have kind of like a nice beefy long uh, MC4 cable that it comes with. Now this thing is actually, um, they do have a discount on it. Uh, they have a discount code that's, I think it's just, the, it just works on their website. I, I don't think it works on Amazon, um, but you know, who knows? It, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but definitely on the website, they have a discount code for this thing that'll give you 10% um, off. And yeah, so it might just be something worth uh, checking out, right? So uh, hopefully just kind of found this overview interesting or helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.